Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to implement Discuss on your Next.js web page. I'm going to use my website, gracefultrips.com, as an example. So this is my website. If you go to this page, which is a blog post, by the end of the post, there's no comment at all. So my goal is to add the comment section here using discuss.com. Okay, let's get started. The first is to create a account under discuss.com. So after you create an account, you can actually create several sites. So you can see here, I have two sites already. I'm going to implement the one for gracefortrips.com. So during the configuration, you will get a short name for this specific website. So here is a graceful trips. That will be the short name that I will use in my code. So important to take note of this name. The next step is to install the NPM for React Discuss. So we can do NPM install Discuss React under the root of your code. See whether this is run correctly. Okay, it's looking good. The next step is to create a comment component. So this is the product directory. This is the folder component. So we can create a new file under there. We can call it discuss-comments.tsx. I'm using TypeScript here. So, and then we can bootstrap the components here. We can do RFC, which is the shortcut for creating a React components there. We can this. We can define the name there. Comment within there. We can say discussion embedded. So that is components that Discuss React provides. We will need to provide two argument there. The other one is config. Okay, so for short name, if you remember, I mentioned we need to get the short name from discuss.com when you set up the site. So we will use graceful trips here. And a config is a object we'll need to configure here. So we can create a variable called discuss config. And within there, we need to provide a URL and do that later. And identifier for a specific page. And title. So after we integrate this component to our page, we'll pass a argument post. So within the posts, we have we have title, and also we can use the slug of the post as the identifier because each post has a different slug. In terms of the URL here, we will get that from the JavaScript. So how, let me show you, which is, we'll do a check on window to see whether 
window is defined and then window.location.href by default is empty and then we can pass the page URL there in the end we need to pass the config which is discuss config here so that should be the entire component. Let's save that. Now we have the components of the comments. We can integrate to the blog article page. So under my project, I have that page under pages, posts, and slugs.tsx. So you can see that is the article page. And the place I want to add the comment is beneath this article tag. So here I can include these Gus comment. Remember, we need to pass the post object there and then done. So you can see this is being automatically added the import now we save okay so the code is done let's take a look at how it looked like on the website so when we open and we see this error it says it's missing this module called prop types so we need to add this module so we will do in pm install prop types let's check the right name yep okay installed let's take a look at it again see the error is gone let's take a look at the section here oh look at that the common section is there now we can do upvote it's pretty cool right so we have a test this functionality locally. Let's deploy to the website and see whether that works remotely. So we can push the change here, making sure we make the correct changes. And then we say edit discuss comment push. Okay, let's refresh. This is a graceful trips.com. And then scroll to the bottom at the end of the article. Ooh, see? That's the common section. So this is working. Okay, so now I may have one concern is what if someone else knows my short name so that they can actually load this session on their website. This is not something that I want. So discuss already have that solved. Uh, if you go to the admin under the sites and then under general, you will see there's the option called advanced. And then you can put your domain name there. So for my case is gracefultrips.com. Add that. So now I should be able to have that session only on my website. So now it's still working. All right. That, that is how you implement discuss comments on your Next.js blog. I will put all the related links and information in the description area. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. That will be a big encouragement to me too. All right, so that's all. Thank you so much and uh, see you next time.